So if you're an awkward adolescent growing up in a Catholic boys' school in Colombo and look like this, <laughs> who do you lose the ladies to? The burger buggers. <laughs> With their clear skin and fancy surnames. Hmm? Because not so awkward adolescents growing up in Catholic girls' schools in Colombo are like De Silva, hmm, De Kretzer, ah. Uh. <laughs> One thing about most burgers though is they've got game, but they can't spell their name. <laughs> and if you're particularly unlucky like me, you end up writing a love letter to the girl you like on behalf of your burger best friend. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. When it comes to love letters, I had to explain to my friend Julian that whole soul is not spelled H O L E whole, S O L E soul. <laughs> Autocorrect dictionary and grammarly may have fixed all that, but Relationships are still complicated, right? So if you are, or like me, wind up single when you're in your early 30s, the incessant question that never goes away, a question aunties thrive in and grandma's pride in is, when are you getting married? married. Thank you, auntie. Here, exhibit A. <laughs> My grandmother is no better. Every time I go to visit, she first gives me the grandma kiss, which is more a long sniff where they suck a little youth out of you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, no? <laughs> Hello, puta. <laughs> you don't need to go for a clean up afterwards. You can actually feel your pores being vacuumed. <laughs> anyway, my grandmother first gives a grandma kiss, uh, then uh, looks at me and goes, uh, Hello, Tino Puta. So nice to see you. When are you going to bring along a lovely girl? I want to see you all married before I die. Cute, right? That's until your mother looks at you and judgingly mouths, Right, right, right. <laughs> Soon, Gamma. Soon. What, Pita? I can't hear you. <laughs> Soon, Gamma. Soon. I'm sorry, Pita. I can't hear you. I hear it, I hear it. Soon, Gamma! Soon! <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, what's the hurry? I can introduce her to you later. Because right about now, softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. <laughs> calling for you <laughs> to come home. I'm not going to tell her that, man, are you mad? She's my grandma. <laughs> and I don't want her to go anywhere. She's turning 90 this October, guys. What a resilient generation, right? Yeah. Yep, I don't want her to go anywhere, no matter how soft and tender Jesus can be. <laughs> One thing about my grandmother was uh, she was not always the poster girl for the Legion of Mary. Hmm? She used to drink a glass of milk bathed in it occasionally, and she gave birth to 10 children. So you can guess what she did during her spare time. <laughs> Here's a hint, it ends with I-N-G and it wasn't knitting. <laughs> but on a more serious note, if you are one of those parents or relatives, please stop. Marriage is not the answer to life's problems and having a child is not the answer to marital problems. <laughs> Alright? This generation might approach the game differently, but that doesn't mean the rules have changed. 
In case you're baffled at what's taking so long, it's this thing called standards. Yes, they exist. So if your son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, nephew or niece is decent, caring and respectful, cut them a break and let them make the right decision at their own pace, at their own time. Am I right? But then if you've got that condescending grand aunt who never lets up, huh? and it's like, my, almost everyone your age is married, huh? high time, high time. <laughs> Just look at her, smile, and say, my, almost everyone your age is dead. <laughs> high time, huh? high time. <laughs> Block and Dean Alive on the 13th and 14th of October at the Musius College Auditorium. Tickets available now on blockanddinotickets.com.